Report Wizard. In this presentation, we will explore Report Wizard and the different choices that you have along the way. First things first, let's make sure we have the proper database open. I'm going to do a file open. And I will open my new database before. We're going to go ahead and create a new report, although we'll create this report using the report wizard. We go to create, and in the reports group, locate report wizard. You may then choose between any available tables and queries as the base source. I'd like to involve all the fields, so go ahead and bring everything over and we'll go ahead and click Next. We have an option to set a group level and I would like to set the group level by last name. So I choose last name, click the arrow to add it as our proper group. We could add more grouping levels if we wished, however, last name will be perfect. We'll go ahead and click Next. Now we're being asked how we would like to sort. We can sort by up to our four fields. I'm going to go ahead and sort by first name. If we have any numerical values, we have a summary option, and we would be able to sum, average, min, or max those particular fields. I'm going to cancel because I don't really have any summary options right now for this particular report. And we will click Next. We are being asked how we would like the layout to happen and the page orientation of portrait or landscape. I will go ahead and click Next. We're going to go ahead and name our report. Context is a perfect name for now. And we will preview. We'll go ahead and finish. And the report is now complete. If there's anything I'd like to change about it, we could go ahead and do so. For example, I'm going to set it to landscape. And note that the fields themselves will not necessarily expand along the way. So we may need to close our print preview, switch back to one of our other many wonderful views that we have, such as design layout, design view, I'm currently in that. And we have an option then to take the fields and we can set them wider. So the birth date is now a bit wider. The next time that I preview the report, the birthday will not be truncated and cut off. So a lot of good options available, but this report wizard is a great and excellent way to quickly produce the beginnings of your report and then through the various views, you can tweak, adjust, and manipulate all of the parts and pieces of the report until you have the perfect report for you. At that point, you save it, print it, and or export it out to another source and share it with your coworkers. Up next, exercise creating a report with the report wizard.